Hey everybody, what's going on? JMAC14 here. Welcome back to another unboxing video here on the channel. Um, today we are going to be unboxing the EVGA XR1 Pro version capture card. Um, I actually own the XR1 Lite version. That's what I've been using for forever, but time for an upgrade. Um, these are great because they're very affordable. They do a great job and certified OBS. So very easy to hook up and stuff. Um, we're going to unbox this and I'm also going to show you how in OBS to get everything set up. Um, some unique things with this one versus the light one is um, this does 2 and 4K and it also has a little mixer knob on it as well. So let's open it up and uh, give it a go, shall we? I just got this a couple of days ago. I was waiting until today to record it. So let's go ahead and Open this up here. All right, slide on out of here. All right, throw that over there. <laughs> out. Okay. So the nice thing is that they actually give you the cables. I already have the cables, but they actually give you the cables with it here. So. This is your USB-C, and they gave you two HDMI's with it. So, but I already have two HDMI's with the other one, but got, now I got extras. I might use this one instead of using the other one. Just depends on if it looks like it's the same, but capture card itself. So, let's uh, pop it open here. And there it is. Look at that. So you can see it's got a little knob on it you can actually plug in like your headphones and your gaming stuff whoops your headphones and your gaming stuff up to it and uh, control it with the knob here i don't know if i'm going to be using that i just want it for the the 2 and the 4k resolution um, stuff but here's a little bit of peel porn for you guys oh yeah there we go <laughs> and the one for the look at that how shiny it is at the moment you can actually see me hey how you doing <laughs> Um, so yeah, you've got your HDMI on that side, your HDMI and your type C on there, your control knob up here, and it's pretty straightforward and simple and no slight against Elgato because I know a lot of people use Elgato, but I like this model because it's a lot more affordable. Um, the light version that I bought, it's not the price it is now because you know inflation and stuff like that but when i got it it was only about 50 dollars whereas it was going to cost me like 130 to get the elgato this was on sale when i bought it and then this was 130 dollars for this so I can imagine that the elgato version that does like you know higher resolutions at like 4k and stuff probably wrapping around in the 200 dollars range so it's a very affordable um capture card so what we're going to do next is we're going to flip over i'm going to show you how this hooks up and then I'm going to show you into OBS um, how you set it all up and get it going just in case you guys are interested. So it's an unboxing and a setup video. So I'll see you for that. Now we're looking at the setup here. I'm going to show you like connection wise um, everything is. If you didn't know, this is, this is my setup here. This is, I usually have the mic there, there and like uh, does the monitor there and then OBS is usually over there on the Mac. So there you go. This is where the capture card lies. Um, this is the light version, like I told you before. HDMI and USB C, so all you do is um, one end goes from the PlayStation or whatever console that you're using into this. The other side goes out into the monitor, and then this is plugged in to your USB C port into your computer. And um, yeah, that's how easy when it comes to hardware. So now we're going to go in and set everything up in the OBS. I just noticed cable wise, I just unhooked the light. Um, the cable that you get with the uh, the Pro, you do get HDMI. This is actually a 3.5 millimeter you know, headphone jack cable, so it's like an aux cable. But um, the USB-C, which is that in there, goes out to two, not one, but two USBs. So you gotta make sure you got enough in there. I didn't know that. Um, the original one had a USB going out, it was just one to USB Type-C, so um, keep that in mind. Make sure you get enough USB ports for this.
All right, so now we're going to uh, go inside here in OBS and um, uh, set everything up. Once you hook everything up, it's going to give you like RGB lights and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, so you can see I had this set up in here. I'm hoping I can just go in here and just switch them out real quick. Um, so if you've never done this before, though, what you want to do is go into your source and you want to add in a, uh, a capture card device. When we do that with here, we're going to bring this up. We're going to select, there it is right there. There's the pro box. What I'm going to do though, so that way we know this is working, is I'm actually going to turn my PlayStation on. You heard, probably might hear the beep right there. So we know this works properly. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to do this. And, yep, it's working properly. We get the video right there. And then you can set the resolution of what you want it to do right here. I'm going to leave it at 1080 right now. And, okay, so that's cool. That was set up really easy that way. Now, one thing you will notice, you don't hear anything right now. What you have to do is go into your settings, go into your audio, and um, you have to... Basically, well, I don't know if it's the audio, I forget. I already have it set up in here with the sound. I had to create another sound device, basically. Um, we'll go into the advanced audio properties here. And, yeah, that was the one for the light. So, I need to... We're doing this live, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I think I gotta go and add another source. If I remember correctly, I haven't done this in a bit. So, I think it is underneath. That's part of the my capture device thing that I've used for my desktop audio. As you can see, if we do this, it does see the pro. So we can actually do this. I've actually done this over in I did this a different way before, but we're just going to do this. This is going to be our other sound. I'm going to apply. Okay. We can get rid of this right here. Which I'll have to go through in later and do it. Can't do it right there. All right. As you can see, there's audio mic 4. That is actually the capture card right now. But... You may not be able to hear anything. I know I can't hear anything through the headphones right now. So what you have to do is go into the advanced properties, find it, and do modern only mute out mute output. And then you can hear it, and then the recording will work as well. So it's just as simple as that. And you just you can go in here. Oh, it apparently wants me to adjust the display and stuff. <laughs> Um, but we're going to turn this, you can turn it down here so it isn't as loud. And there you go. Just as easy as that, set up the capture card. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like rating on here. Hit the subscribe button for more stuff. And I hope you have a good one, alright? Simple as that, straightforward unboxing and setup. And, um, yeah, have a good one. Remember as always, keep gaming.